Ashley from Not Into Reviews. Oh. I have a new setup. What do you guys think? I did this since my kids are with grandma. I was like, I'm going to take this time and make my space my own. And that's what I did. Um, so today I'm here with Books and Treasures. I actually unboxed this on my channel quite a while ago, maybe last summer, I want to say. And they have since kind of revamped. And um, they, I think they wanted, a, you know, an opportunity to show you guys how they changed their box and stuff. So this is their July package. Now, a little bit about this subscription. I wrote it all down so I could share with you guys. Do you like this? It's weird. I kind of got to crane my neck up. There's this pillow. You can just hit the road, Jack. All right. <laughs> This is a monthly used book subscription box. Um, now you can choose just a book or you can do the book and treasures. So this is books and treasures. Um, and the treasures are uh, handmade items from Etsy and things like that. All right, so um, there is a coupon for a free book with a three month uh, free box with a three month subscription and I'll put that down in the description. Um, and then, so if you get just the book, you get a book and a handmade bookmark, um, made by Books and Treasures, at, or you can choose the, um, obviously the, the Books and Treasures. I think I've said that like 75 billion times. Um, when you choose, you do get to choose your genre. So they offer kids, young adult, uh, nonfiction adult, adult fiction, or surprise me. Um, the just a book option is $8. Uh, the books and treasures is $30. You also get to choose between tea, coffee, or hot chocolate. Um, and so in your box with the books and the treasures, you'll get the bookmark, you'll get, um, uh, coffee or tea or whatever you choose, and you'll get other handmade items. The books in these boxes are used, like I said, they're in like new to fair condition, and they range in date from the 1930s to the 2000s. So there is that. Now we're going to open this up. I think I said what, young adult or adult fiction. I think that's what I would have said. It makes sense to me. I think I took a little quiz too. I feel like I did at least. All right. Pop this baby open. And then right on top we have our little insert. And that tells us what's in the box. But we're not going to look at that just yet. We're going to open this up and see. All right. So here we go. Let's get in there. Ooh, it's a box. And I don't have a... I do have a scissors, but I left it on my bed. You think I'd learn. But I never do, do I? Oh, I actually just came open. That's great. All right, this looks like a mug. Ooh, I want to see it. Oh, it's an owl. Oh, I like it so much. Oh, this is super cool. And then I uh, came with coffee. This is French vanilla cano 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 cannoli. <laughs> Colonial International Coffee in French Vanilla. This is a cool mug though. Isn't that neat? It reminds me of like the 70s. Like my mom, I have mugs from my mom's house when I was growing up. And they were like, they look like, I don't know if it's like a watermelon. They have like brown spots in their green. This is kind of like this. I don't know, I love it. Look at the inside. It's from, it doesn't say it had a ticket on it, but it's scratch off. So there's that. That's super cute. Oh my gosh, I love that. And we'll find out. It's probably on the card here. Duh. All right, then we have a little envelope. Oh, how cute is that? All right. Inside, there's a little notebook. It's stapled. It's a handmade notebook. It has keys on it. I'm not gonna, it's treasures though. I get it, see, ha ha. And then we have a little, this is so cool. Oh my gosh. <gasps> it's a chapstick holder. You put it on your keys. Girl, where has this been? Oh, how many times have you lost your chapstick? Or you leave it in the car and it freaking melts. It's peppermint flavored, it says so. This is from Books and Treasures. Books are uniquely portable magic, Stephen King. This is a cocoa butter, castor oil, olive oil, beeswax, soybean oil, canola oil, carnauba wax, candelilla wax and flavor. So there is that. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, that is so, I am so thrilled. I like literally, not any, I've never seen anything like this and I've never had anything like that. And that is a cool item. Can't even, can't even contain myself. All right, moving along here. I love this. This is fun. This is a fun one. And I will link down below to my full review like I always do. And I'll also link to Books and Treasures with my affiliate link. So if you're interested, you can check them out too. All right. <laughs> oh, Dow Dazzling Creations. This is a coaster, I'm guessing. It looks like a little teacup. I'm guessing it's coaster. We'll read. It's crocheted though. It's super cute and purple. And then it's got the brown at the top like your coffee. So it's like a little coaster, I'm guessing. 
I think I said I'm a coaster. I'm guessing I'm going to All right, so here is start each day with a smile. There's a little note card. Here's our handmade bookmark. Super cute. The little charm is just a, like a filigree design. Ashley says here, thanks. Enjoy your book, Books and Treasures, Sarah and Rebecca. All right, so what's the book? Let's see. National bestseller, Lisa C. Flower Net. C brings a cool, knowing eye to Chinese American relations while crafting. In the depths of a Beijing winter during the waning days of Deng Xiaoping's reign, the U.S. ambassador's son is found dead, his body entombed in a frozen lake around the same time. Aboard a ship adrift off the coast of Southern California, Assistant U.S. Attorney David Stark makes a startling discovery. The corpse of a red prince, a scion of China's polit political elite. The Chinese and American governments suspect that the deaths are connected, and in an unprecedented move, they join forces to see justice done. In Beijing, David teams up with the unorthodox police detective Li Hulan in an investigation that takes them to every corner of China and sparks an intense attraction between the two. Ooh, it's kind of a love story, I think. Uh, David and Hulan discover web linking human trafficking to the drug trade and to the governmental treachery. A web reaching from the forbidden city to the heart of Los Angeles and like the wide flower net used by Chinese fishermen threatening to ensnare all within its reach. So that is cool. So everything in my box. For the $30 you get your bookmark and your book. Probably the most important item, right? The coaster. The lip balm holder in the lip balm. The little mini notebook. And you're super cute, where did it go? Mug with your coffee, I love that. All right, so our card here says, the bookmark is from Books and Treasures, the coaster I was right, from Dow Dazzling Creations at Etsy, Matchbooks, matchbook notepad is from Funky Chicken Scoop, or Funky Chicken Scoop, I'm not sure, at Etsy, uh, buttons, button head at Etsy.com, where's the buttons? Did I miss them? Oh, no, did I miss them? Or did I not? Oh, wait, is there something in here? No. Oh, no. I don't know. I know there is something in here. It's wrapped up. Oh, wow. There's like something tucked away in here. I wouldn't have known there was there. <laughs> ah! Oh, my gosh. There's more. But wait, there's more. All right. Oh, oh, my gosh. Look. It's a fox, which, by the way, reminds me if anybody out there is a. The Royal Tenenbaums, the guy, Mr. Fantastic Mr. Fox, a Wes Anderson. This always reminds me of Wes Anderson. And then this pen here says, everything is going to be okay. So those um, pins or buttons are from Buttonhead at Etsy. The lip balm is from Majestic Lips at Etsy. The lip balm keychain holder is Wes 3 egirls at Etsy.com. The inspirational card is from Emily Cromwell Designs, and that is everything. I think this box was fantastic. Uh, what a great improvement, by the way. Um, I will, like like I said, link down below two uh, books and treasures, so you can check them out if you so, so desire, and I will also link to my full review where I'll go in depth. As always, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.